second big reason for inflation is Vladimir Putin, not a joke. Putin's invasion of Ukraine has driven up gas prices and food prices all over the world. Two major breadbaskets of wheat in the world were Ukraine and Russia. The United States is number three, and Canada number four. Well, we saw the most recent inflation data. Last month, about 70 percent of the increase in inflation was a consequence of Putin's price hike because of the impact on gas and energy prices. I'm doing everything I can to bring down the price to address Putin's price hike. That's why I authorized the release of one million barrels per day for the next six months for our from our strategic petroleum reserve. And I know the press is always asking me, with good reason, why I'm always on the phone talking with other world leaders, trying to keep them organized. Well, one of the things I did when I went out and got a lot of other countries to agree they would release petroleum from their SPRO reserves. So we work with the U.S. oil producers to ramp up the production. And we coordinated this release with our partners and allies around the world. And shortly after I made the announcement, another 30 countries agreed to 60 million additional barrels a day on the market. So now we have 240 million barrels a day for the next six months. That's the largest collective reserve release in history. Nations coming together to help deny Putin the ability to weaponize energy resources against American families and families in Europe and around the world. But there's more than need be done. And Americans should already be seeing the savings. Although it's only gone down about 18 cents, the savings are starting. Beyond gas prices, I've called on Congress to move immediately to lower the cost of family utility bills, prescription drug bills, and more, while lowering the deficit and reducing inflation. That would make a big difference for families. We can do a lot of these things without raising a single penny on taxes of anyone making less than $400,000 a year.